All right, so Liz Sandbox has just used a Baron to gain control of the map, and they have a gold lead. So check out what their solo laners are doing. They're going to push up, and Zeri's going to take this wave. Everyone's in position now to get deep vision. All right, you see how Renekton moves into the jungle, puts himself down a control ward, because he's going to be down here for a while. Notice also this control ward behind Zeri. All right, this is because they anticipate holding this area of the map. That control ward will know if anyone's trying to move here in between waves. Zeri's wasting auto attacks. All right, you see how she's using her Q off to the side. She's just keeping her attack charged. And there she goes. Now she pushes. Now when she goes up, Renekton has some time to get his camp, gets a blue buff for himself. Ari gets to move up and look at Nautilus and Nocturne. They're moving in. So now we have Baron Wave minus five and Zeri just bursts it down. Look at how the whole team now has moved their vision into the Western Quadrant. Now here's the first mistake. Teddy going over to the right side of the map, Southern Quadrant. This is a mistake. You don't want to use this because, look, your team used all that time and pressure to get into the Western Quadrant, and now they have to back out because you made an aggressive move to the right side of the map. All right, this is Baron Wave minus four. Zeri bursts the wave. Why? Because Nautilus and Renekton had to get their recalls in, as does Nocturne. You don't want to be stuck in the wave while your team is going for recalls. It makes you a liability. So instead, Zeri pushes it and goes and picks up Red Buff for herself. Now here we go. This is Baron Wave minus two. Renekton stuck in bottom, picking up the wave that Gragos was able to double stack and push out. Because Renekton stuck in this bot side, that does mean that SKT is able to move into the Western Quadrant and wrestle the vision back for themselves. Now here we go, Renekton's moving back up to the map, but here's the big mistake, Renekton's coming down, this is one wave too many, notice that Gragas is already getting his recall off, Gra Renekton can push this wave, but he's still 30 seconds away from any kind of turret pressure, which gives Gragas more than enough time to get back, and he'll be able to create a better wave state for himself. Renekton's taking a recall, which is going to f more or less force him to teleport now, to help the Zeri out, because he stayed one wave too late, and because they have syncopated backs now, this is the sixth recall that LSB has taken. T1's going to wrestle back the initiation, the prio in the Western Quadrant, and now they're going to step up. Now check out where Ari is. Ari's moving up to try to get a flank position, but because it's the Chemtech map, map we have an explosive cone, which allows Gragas to get on top of her and push her out. Now look at this position. You have Renekton, Ari, both in flanking positions, but both too far away. T1 masterfully goes up. They push up completely and get the Azir wall to be able to zone out the minions. This means that they'll have the minion advantage. Azir's going to be pushing well over here. And check this out. They're the first ones into the river. And because they're the first ones in the river, they now have advantage over this entire play. There is a dragon coming up, but it is a meaningless one. D3 is not going to be good and SKT or T1 starts the Baron and check this out Renekton has moved over to the top side and look at this jockeying where Scion's just going to hold the aggro on the Baron they're not committing anytime that LSB shows pressure on one side owner steps in what they're trying to do is wait out the Renekton ultimate all right Renekton ultimate's got about five seconds left when it goes down they're going to look for a window now Renekton moves away knowing that his timer's down Gragas finds the window they go forward they engage on Nautilus and they get the kill not just that but Nocturne is forced to use his ultimate so now they know that Nautilus is gone Renekton ultimate is gone Ari ultimate is still not up and and the Nocturne can't even get in so they're able to come and take this Baron for themselves now credit to LSB they get another wave in the mid and they do get the dragon as a consolation but still this was a masterclass by T1 giving the minimum taking the maximum in the end game macro hope you guys enjoyed it if you like this video please consider liking and subscribing it helps the channel out a lot I'll catch you guys next time keep it surreal peace